Hey y'all, it's me. I'm back. I um, want to share and talk a little bit about the issue. Uh, after you uh, do a uh, repair with the helicoid kit on the cylinder head, uh, holes, threads, the cam caps, hole threads. Um, so I have already uh, uh, repaired and re the hole thread and put a new helicoid uh, insert uh, down the hole. And uh, the issue, um, uh, and sometimes it will happen, okay? Because there's no perfect. Uh, uh, you 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 you're not gonna have a a, a perfect uh, repair every time. So uh, what happened is uh, you might have an issue uh, when you uh, insert the uh, helicoid down the uh, the hole threads after you do a tapping. Um, what it is is it will sometimes. Uh, when you retap, you wiggling or so, and you make the whole th the new whole thread uh, kind of cricket or so, and that's why um, when you insert uh, the new uh, helicoid threads, it will be cricket or so, and it will not uh, thread. It will not completely uh, uh, put down your new helicoid uh, insert. So therefore, it will stick up. It will tip up like one round, you know, one round of the helicoid sticking up the surface of your cylinder head okay so that's what happened with uh, one of my uh, repair uh, threads after I, in I insert the helicoid so what you want to do is uh, if that happens you might want to you, you need uh, first of all you need a kit uh, it's called a grinder set kit okay it's a grinder set kit two box here I have uh, that's what it looks like it runs with uh, electronic and uh, you can it's like 10 or 15 dollars at Harbor Freight 2 and you can search it online um, so you need that as, along with the drill bit this is one of the drill bit that you need you need two okay this thin cutting metal uh, bit here uh, with this uh, foul bit all right so uh, I don't really need. I I just use this thin uh, cutting bit to kind of pry that that top helicoid piece that's that's tipping up the the surface. Just pry up a little bit and then bend it out. And then after you bend it a little bit, that's what it looks like. And then you cut it. That's what it looks like when you cut just one just one turn of the helicoid insert. Okay. So you cut it with this cutting tool. Okay, it's very easy. Just take about five seconds to cut it, up, cut it out. Then after you cut, you use this grinder, the grinder bit right here, and then you just slowly and you know, don't be shaky. Just kind of file that that edge, um, you know, just kind of file that uh, that uh, that's going to be a little bit tip up. So you want to file it smooth down. So um, until you feel it's smoothing with the surface here, okay? Because if it if it's not uh, smooth with the, the the surface here, when you install the cam caps bolts, trying to spec down the uh, camshaft, you have a little tip up, and you if you don't cut it and do that fouling, you might need to put RTV extra RTV right there. Uh, but it's best to cut it and file it down, so you know so you can spec it right because. It needs to be taut down spec right. If it's tilt a little bit, it won't spec. So your camshaft will will not, and your timing is not going to set right, or it's going to wiggling. So it's not going to be um, taut down in spec. So you might want to have that part spec good uh, when you do the timing. Okay, your camshaft is part of your timing. So uh, that's why they need to uh, taut down with spec uh, on each uh, cam caps. Okay. Uh, so that's what it is. Want to go through with that little issue after you do the uh, uh, thread hose uh, helicoid kit repair? Yeah, after you're trying to repair the uh, hole threads, uh, you might have that little issue problem there. So just uh, use this information and uh, uh, what I'm going through here, showing you guys how to uh, fix that problem. And. Uh, that should be it for now. Please uh, leave comments, suggest, and most of all, uh, please subscribe my channel. Um, thanks a lot. Mm, have a good one, and uh, be safe. Always wear your safety glass.